Hey racers, welcome to my gaming channel. So I'm in 16th place right now in the tier 32 of Diddy Kong's Cup. And so I'm not going to stay in this rank. No, 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 no. I'm going to first go through Tokyo Blur 2R. Click my King Boo level 4, the Quick Shot level 3. I just used a uh, high end ticket. And also I don't have a tier 3 glider, but I am going to stick with the level 6 on the tier 2. Um, and going to 150cc. Let's see how we're going to do because I want to be able to break at least 10k with Tokyo Blur or even higher. Okay, so I'm going to start building my combos here. Get a frenzy though. Yep, that's great. Okay, so I'm going to take advantage of the coins. Come on, come on. Sweet. This is a good start. It's a good start, racers. All right, so let's keep that combo up. Get coins. Take that. Sweet. Put that come on. Just at least towards the finish line. Continue the fantastic combo. Nice. Okay. Might break. Yeah. I broke it here. All right. So, oh, we got another coin frenzy. This is good. Please, I gotta stay in first place. This is so good right now. Oh, almost got ah, can get away. It's okay. We took these red shells, Wario. Oh man, come on, come on, come on. And we did it. 13,000. If I had a tier 3 glider, that would have been 15k, I think. But hey, I'm not complaining. I will take that 13,000 with me. Let's see where I go up the rank. So that's a good, good record right there. Tokyo Blur to, is just difficult to combo, guys, if you if you don't um, keep it up. It's a quick one. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so now we're going to head into Dino Down in the Jungle, R. And I have a level 3 Gold Koopa. Going to go with the DK Jumbo level 4. And a level 6. Yes, I just recently maxed this parachute. So this is going to give me greater score. So I'm gonna go with that. Swooper has times two bonus. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with the, the level six. Right, 150cc should be fine. Uh, it's best to combo. Take note, racers, of the combos that I will create. I uh, might not make the, just with this one, one run, I might not be able to make a great score. So I'm probably gonna repeat this again. So this is how I like to combo. Uh, collect the coins after while you're drifting. Okay, so drifting here while making this ramp. Okay. Uh, drifting again. Yep, keeping the combos up. So it's good to drift and then hit that ramp. I could have collected coins, but it's okay. I'll, I'll probably repeat this. Okay, so continue the drift, collect these coins. Uh, the hardest part here is continuing the combo. Um, so I think I'd have to take that wider turn next time. Okay, so... I'm creating, recreating this combo. Mm, broke it, but oh well. All right, so collecting coins, and I should take advantage of the log as ramps. Okay, so I have a coin box, so I'll use it. If you need to, you can use your item tickets. Notice that I used to have like 200 something if you've been watching my videos. I have now 150, just from the last rank. Oh, can I make this? Ah, oh, broke it. It's fine, I'll just collect these coins from the coin box. All right, continuing the combo, combo, combo. I'm gonna see if I could do it from here. Probably not, yeah, wide turn. Oh, look, we got Frenzy. If only it was a coin frenzy. Super horn frenzies, they're... Mm, they're not so great unless you're surrounded by uh, other drivers, so... But I t I'll take it. Almost slipped there. Okay. We sh oh, I could have comboed into the finish line, but we got 16k. I think I can prove this, so I will definitely go back to this course next time. But we're going to go straight into the next course so let's see where we moved up oh great we moved up three we're getting close to the top 10 here but we need to make it to number one right 
So Waluigi Pinball. Let's see what we can do. I just went with uh, something that basically has coins, so it's good to combo. All right. So 150 CC, that's what I would do for all these courses. 150 CC, don't do 200 CC. You want to make sure you, all your drifts count for more of a better score. Broke that combo, but it's okay. I'll recreate it. This one I'm probably gonna have to also do in the future. But right now I'm just focusing on getting a better score than the first time I've done this. So this is, again, this is the second time doing it. Oh man, that was just bonkers right there. Blue shell, oh, I had to avoid the blue shell, but I got hit by the pinball. Another super horn frenzy, okay. Okay, so second lap, final lap. Collect this coin. Ooh, can I keep the combo? Up to 32. Go, go, go. Ah. So I guess I'll drift there next time. Oh, go, uh, coin box frenzy, that's good. I'll take use of it. Another one. Oof. Oh, that was so close. I almost got hit by the pinball. Come on, please don't have a red shell. Please don't have a red shell. Yes, that boomerang didn't even hit me. Okay, 12k. I think maybe if I level up Baby Mario in the future, I can get more than 12k, maybe up to 13 or 14k. Baby Mario is level 4. So we went up 5 ranks. Nice. That's good. Alright, so racers, if you've made it this far in watching my video, stick around because these are just 3 clips that if you notice, I'm attempting to increase my score beyond even being at sixth place. So I will speed through all these clips and you'll notice an end score that I get for every time I do Down and Down a Jungle, you're gonna see that there's a little bit of an increase. So I wanna try to break that 20K in front of you. So as you notice, I'm gonna finish this first one and looks to me, we have 16,000. So, okay, moves me up to fifth rank. We are aiming for that number one spot, you know, just for now. So here's another clip of me taking advantage of all the different tricks and different combos here. All right, so I do get a frenzy at this point, so it's really important. Uh, repeating the courses over and over definitely helps you because you increase your chances of possibly getting a frenzy um, And also sometimes you might not get it, but at the same time you might get double frenzy So it's worth trying it over and over. I mean to even increase your driver glider and card score. Oh 18k by the way, so I have gone up 2k above so increasing the skill levels are important for those things the driver the car the glider and so you need to make sure those levels are where they are. I mean, I would say for the driver, maybe level three, but if you're really pushing it for a high end, definitely uh, to level four to guarantee your spot. These high end tickets, guys, you should be using them, to be honest with you. It's definitely important, um, uh, especially for ranked. I've learned that recently from the last ranked cup because honestly I didn't use him until the last minute and so I realized yep I have to start using them now especially if you're beyond tier 30 19k 
So that's not too bad. But let's try to break 20k. I made it to first place, and I'm really happy about that. Right? But you know what? You got to make sure you secure your score. So, without further ado, this is what some of you have been waiting for how to break 20k. Now, again, keep in mind Gold Koopa is level 3. My DK Jumbo is level 4. And I have a level 6 glider. Okay? So that's a common glider. there you go racers that's what 21k looks like with a good run in down and down jungle as gold koopa racers thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed these videos don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more mario kart tour content this is chicken and i'll see you guys on the racing field